Well, I think it's a lifestyle that is, I don't know if it has a specific meaning, but it, it's, it is what I am and it's my life and I, I love it. Well, I have quite some. I, have, I really love to identify with people who made a change. One of the big ones is uh, Osman, the guy who rebuilt Paris, the architect. I think it's just so cool. I cannot be a fan. I cannot have a role model in Napoleon because he was, of course, a big guy. But he was so pathetic. When some of his letters, you see, he's just a jealous guy. He doesn't know where his girlfriend is doing. But it was man, and then of course Branson and Richard is a. Uh, he's the one of the, the the big guys here, and then you have uh, the guy, one of the the founders of Intel, who's been building an enormous con I mean, conglomerate that is stable and not a fraud. Um, and then of course there's a lot of smaller guys that, that I identify with, but normally I call my heroes if they're not dead. <laughs> well, why do you ask me? <laughs> um, I think it takes a lot of, um, it takes a lot of courage, of course. And, uh, and then it's a long discussion whether it's courage, more, courage more than it's discipline, more than it's vision. And, social skills to get people with you but we I think for me it always ends up as we talked about today in, in the childhood I mean do you have the do you have the fundamentals right to to dare to do something so crazy and bet against the the chances I mean a lot of I mean, eight, if, if eight out of ten companies go down then why the fuck do it why not just take a nice job at a burger joint and flip the burgers and you know have a nice life without stress but yeah, it's, I, I, it's it's very it's impossible to answer. I wouldn't know where to go otherwise. <laughs> Business-wise, it was selling a, a digital advertising agency to Publicis uh, and Leo Burnett in '99, just before the first bubble bursted, and we just took the cash and ran as fast as we could. That was that was the first real thing where we, I mean it was with my best friends, you know, four guys, sold the company at an extreme high valuation per, per head and, and we had a lot of fun and we were like 27, 26. It, I'm supposed to say that it was going bankrupt with my newspaper but I mean I see it as the world's most, ex one of the world's most expensive MBAs and I'm very happy with it.